Good evening. I'm Grace Douglas. I'm the principal investigator of the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog, or TAPIA. Thank you all for joining us tonight as we send these pioneers on this critical step towards Mars. The knowledge we gain here will help enable us to send humans to Mars and bring them home safely. I want to thank our entire team who made this mission possible, and many of their patches are shown here to my left. I also want to thank our crew. Commander Kelly Haston, Medical Officer Nathan Jones, Flight Engineer Ross Brockwell, and Science Officer Anka Solario. Thank you all for your dedication to exploration. Our best wishes go with you as you begin this adventure of discovery. I would now like to introduce the NASA Johnson Space Center Director, Vanessa Weich. Thank you, thank you, Grace, so very much. Uh, thank you all for joining us today as we are sending off our inaugural crew of Chapia. And these brave individuals will be embarking on a one-year journey. So we want to thank the many teams, as Grace said, that worked together tirelessly to pull this all together. Uh, I love the fact that all of their uh, plaques are here hanging beside uh, the wall here, but there were many, many uh, cross uh, disciplines across the Johnson Space Center and outside working together to make this happen. This crew behind me of individuals volunteered to help us with getting ready for our missions to Mars. And this simulated uh, activity has been in the making. This team has worked tirelessly to bring forth the habitat that you see behind us uh, for many years. And so the crew will go inside of this 3D printed habitat, 1,700 square feet, that they will have to bond together for 378 days. I'm super excited about the science that will be obtained. And one year from now, when they come out with great success, we will all be here waiting so that we can share in and thank you so very much for volunteering. So thank you so very much to the crew and thank you to all the individuals that work together to make this happen. Thank you. Best wishes, best wishes, best thank wishes, you. best thank wishes. You. Awesome. Thank you for having me here. Uh, my name is Judy Hayes, and I'm representing the Human Health and Performance Directorate as the Chief Science Officer. It's an honor to be here today as we celebrate the ingress of CHAPIA. This ingress embodies the teamwork across the Johnson Space Center of engineers and scientists, and they built, designed, built, certified, and readied this Martian habitat and its crew. Um, this could not have been done without the strong partnership between the Engineering Directorate and between uh, the Human Health and Performance Directorate. This team is the best that NASA offers. We especially thank this Chapia crew of specialists of medicine in medicine, engineering and science, and especially their families as they take on this personal commitment to this mission. This, they are about to embark on an analog mission that encompasses operations, logistics, and research of living and working on Mars. The importance of this study cannot be understated. <clears throat> as the journey unfolds, as their journey unfolds over the coming year, it's through their stel this stellar crew that NASA scientists will learn uh, critical insights on the physical and behavioral aspects of a mission on Mars. So with that I say, good luck and Godspeed. And I hand it over to Julie Kramer White from Engineering. Hey, good evening. I'm Julie Kramer White from Engineering, as Judy said. Our teams between Engineering and Health and Human Performance have been working since 2019 
to bring this vision to life. Uh, this 3D, everything from the 3D printed habitat by ICON to all the significant modifications to the utilities in this building in order to support these folks and yet still preserve the illusion of being on Mars. We have folks that have provided airlocks and provided laundry and trash management trying to still be authentic to the environment that they'll see on Mars. RFID tracking technology and VR for the EVA that they're going to be doing outside the habitat. Those are all products provided by engineering. It's really been a team effort to create the authentic experience between SA, uh, health and human performance, and the food systems design. But even what engineering has learned about storage and volume and mass and things, it'll definitely help us as we think about missions to Mars and how we support our crews along the way. These long duration mission simulations really bring Mars closer to us. They help us realize that Mars is within our reach as we try to address the issues and challenges that will face us on these long missions, whether it's food, hardware systems, or health and human performance systems, or just the engineering challenges. I just want to thank you all. I want to thank our folks uh, in SA that work on this collaboration with us. Thank you for the opportunity to bring NASA one step closer to Mars. Thank you so much for all the well wishes and for uh, taking time out of your day for so many important people to come and wish us well. Um, Spaceflight and exploration exemplify some of the best qualities of humankind, including innovation, daring, and execution. For space exploration, these elements come together to safely send humans away from Earth to explore and study the most foreign environments imaginable. And this enables new learnings and the potential for humans to survive and thrive on other planets such as Mars. And I really don't have to tell this group, but that is a huge endeavor. The JPIA mission that we celebrate today is a great example of this, tackling difficult technical challenges to create the most Mars realistic simulation possible. The crew has worked so hard this month to get ready for this mission. It has been very special to be a part of such a tremendous group of scientists and specialists from a diverse set of backgrounds, working together to bring JPIA-1, the first of three missions, to reality. And the crew mirrors the other teams. It is an amazing group of dedicated individuals who feel very passionate about space exploration and science. And we are determined to produce the best possible data for the teams that have poured their hard work and spirit into this project. We hope to honor that effort with strong execution and completion of this mission. For myself, I feel incredibly lucky and blessed to be part of this crew and the mission. It is a career and personal highlight to be both scientist and test subject and produce data that may enable new methods and safer space travel and habitation one day. I once again want to thank the multitude of people that have helped us prepare ourselves and our families. And finally, I wish to thank my friends and family and my partner, E. You are the umbilicus that keeps my heart connected and synced to the Earth while I'm away on Mars. And I thank you so deeply for supporting me in this crazy adventure. Thank you. Humanity yearns uh, to reach higher than ever before. Metaphorically and physically, we seek to climb the highest of mountains. So we set our sights on a distant tomorrow when we might stand upon mountains such, a, such as Olympus Mons which is the tallest mountain in our solar system, as far as I'm aware. That is a mountain on Mars. But I believe that tomorrow will only be possible because we step into Mars Dune Alpha today. And with that in mind, I also want to take a moment to sincerely thank the great many people who have worked tirelessly and so many countless hours to get us to this point. Thank you. And thank you, NASA, for the profound trust that you've put in us as a crew. Also, thank you to our families and friends for their sacrifices. We see you, we know those sacrifices. We couldn't be here without your love and support. Sorry. <laughs> to, <laughs> sorry. To my wife and kids, I love you, the moon. I'm sorry, Mars, and back. <laughs> thank you. So I'm incredibly honored and excited to be able to be a part of this project, this program. Uh, I'd like to say thanks to my mom and to my dad 
for being such great parents. I'd like to say thanks to Shannon for the love and support. I'd like to say thanks to NASA and to Grace and to all these amazing people that have you know, helped put this project together, to work so hard, done such an incredible job of not only making the science so strong so that we can get as much out of this mission as possible, but that making it so interesting and so fun for us. We really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. I believe wholeheartedly that humankind's exploration, the moon and Mars and worlds beyond, will teach us about ourselves and will inspire us to take care of each other and take care of this beautiful and wonderful planet, this wonderful world that will always be our home. I'm honored and I'm grateful. I'm super excited to be a part of this and part of this great crew and to help make a contribution to put us on the path to Mars. So thank you all very much. I just can't believe that I'm here. Um, <laughs> I want to thank you. Thank you, NASA, for creating this opportunity and for being there for the human spirit. You exemplify everything that we want to be and the, the tip of our mental capacities. And I want to thank the Navy for making me a, a strong, resilient person that I didn't even think of being five years ago. And I want to thank my friends who traveled the world just to come to bring me my papers. <laughs> and, and I want to thank my friends and family for always supporting me, even when I sounded a little bit crazy. And I am grateful and honored to be part of the crew that will make the mission to Mars possible. I want to, this I dedicate to those four, six people who will step on actual Martian soil. Thank you. Now we are going to have the crew sign their flag before they enter the habitat. We are going to put this flag on the front of the Mars Dune Alpha for the duration of the mission. Set the mic aside. Please join me in a round of applause as we wish our crew well and they enter the habitat. Chapia Mission 1 is a go.